I graduated with my degree in criminal justice and psychology. And two weeks later, I had to go to federal prison. They found me guilty of aiding and abetting a conspiracy to distribute 100 to 400 kilograms of marijuana. Cars that were not mine. Millions of dollars that were not mine. Houses that were not mine. Guns that were not mine. I was looking at over 100 years if I was sentenced to the max. They were trying to sentence me to life. How do you maneuver? How do you continue on, you know, life with $8.6 million debt? It's not fair. Your skin can dictate what you go through. Try not to let it happen to you. The feds have a 98% conviction rate for a reason. They do not like to lose. They will do whatever and however and whomever they have to in order to get that conviction. There's a criminality that's attached to all of us simply because of the color of our skin. A white man is going through the exact same thing that, that we were, yet he got no jail time. I see my mom push the door open. She turns her head back, and all I see is the cop literally yoke her up and body slam her on the ground. His whole body weight on top of my mom just wailing, wailing, wailing on her head. And he has the handcuffs in his hand. The public defender that she had told her to just sign the deal, because if you go to trial, you're looking at 10 years away from your kids. If you're gonna sentence me to jail, if you're gonna take me to trial and accuse me of these things, we're gonna fight because I saw what y'all did to my mom. When you're young, you think everything is fun and you're, you're partying, you're spending money, you're buying shoes, you're buying bags, you're living in a house, new cars. But the consequences of being an adult boy's life ain't that fun at the end because the same consequences that he gets, you gonna get and you could get more. I don't think my story is unique in the criminal justice system. Thousands of women that have the same story. Pulling the curtain back on this criminal legal system and really giving people a firsthand account of what this is, there's also that penalty that you get for choosing to exercise your constitutional right to hold the government to its burden. You feel like it's, it's a game that's being played between them. This is my right to fight for myself. They're gonna have some kind of justice, but it's, 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 it's not like that. It's not like that at all. They use my education against me. They use my family history against me. They're expecting black people to come from broken homes. You want these people to kind of like, okay, get to know me. I'm not what you guys are accusing me of. We are in this system that is designed, you know, to, to break us. Because it's not fair and it's not right and there is no justice. Black women are more resilient than anyone ever thought that we could be. And we are statistics, but we refuse to be casualties.